So in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of adding an event to your calendar. So just to note that the events calendar is a third party plugin. It's created by Modern Tribe and it is actually added as a bit of an addition to your WooThemes template. So it's, it's a, what's called a plugin. Um, it's almost like a little piece of software that's been bolted on the side of your WordPress website. Um, so the problem with the events calendar is it doesn't always pick up all of the formatting from your with theme um, because it's not the same company that's developed that software, but it does tend to generally play fairly well together. Um, so once you have it installed, you should find that you have on your left hand navigation within your WordPress admin area, uh, a section for events. So if you click on events, as you can see on my test site, I have got three events already that I've already posted there. Okay, so if I want to add a new one, uh, up on the events area here, I would just click add new. And then I have my template here, which is a blank template that allows me to fill in all the details for my event. So I am going to call this, uh, let's just say it's a test yoga class. Uh, right, so that's my title. That's what is going to appear on the calendar. And I am going to add some content now. So Test description of yoga class. All right. Now, if you have event categories, you can actually check the categories here. So I'm going to check yoga class because I've used that before. Uh, just like posts and pages, you can also add event categories as you're um, posting a new one. So I might add um, Pilates as a new category here. So I can type that in and then click add new category. And that's another option now that's appeared on my event categories there. Okay, I'm just going to scroll down a little bit now to see what other options that we've got here. Okay, I can set a featured image. Now, essentially, the featured image is what will appear when someone's looking at your calendar and they hover over a date um, and they hover over your event name and it will come up with a little description and this is the picture that will feature right there. So if you want there to be a picture when people are hovering on your calendar, then you should add it here. So let's just say I'm going to add a picture of a yoga class there, and I'm going to set that as the featured image. Okay. Right, there we go. We've got an image there now. Okay, so in uh, this box here, we have all of the controls for uh, dates and times. So I'm going to put my start time. So let's just say it's going to be the 4th of June. And I'm going to do it from 10 a.m. until 11 a.m. Okay, so I've changed that date there. You can type in the venue name. So let's just say it's a community centre. The address is 1 Test Road, London. I'm going to give it a real postcode because I'm actually going to put a Google Calendar, um, a Google Map, sorry, not a Google Calendar, <laughs> on my advertisement for this event. And I'm going to give it a phone number as well. And select a country so this helps Google Maps come up with the, uh, the right country here and the right map as well okay so it's United Kingdom and I'm just going to put London in here again right you can put in your details in the event organizer area presuming that you want people to call you about this so I'm going to enter my name here and my phone number this is a dummy phone number there I'm going to put my website Probably no use putting your own website if it's going to be advertised on your website, but if it's an event that has a, another separate website attached to it, then you might want to use make use of that field. And I'm putting in my email address. Okay, so I'm going to put that this event costs £10. Now, you may or may not have uh, purchased the Woo Themes um, plugin for the event calendar. So that basically means that there is a plugin available that will allow you to connect your calendar up to your shop facility so you can actually sell tickets through your event calendar and that will link up to your Woo themes, Woo Commerce shop functionality. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by that, don't worry about it because you probably haven't got it set up, but it's a possibility basically to sell tickets on your calendar. And I'm gonna go into the details of administering that in a different video because it's quite separate to what we're doing here. 
Okay, so finally, I will want some content in the excerpt field here because this is the content that will appear when people are looking at your calendar and they just hover over the title. So I'm just going to put text excerpt here. Okay, and I think that's all the basic information that we really, really need on there. So I am going to publish this event. And now if I go and I view my calendar, and I can do that at the top on the black bar by just actually clicking events where you can view calendar. I'm going to click events. So there we go. I have now got my test yoga class appearing in my, uh, my upcoming events list. If I click on that and open it, as you can see, it's got all the key information at the top. I have my Google map here. And if I just keep scrolling down there, I can see all of my text that I put in there. Okay, so that's it, adding a new event to your events calendar.